Thank you, President. It's been six weeks since the gruesome videos of the Hula massacre found their way to the Internet. Murdered children were considered a tipping point by many, but just like the words never again, they sound terribly hollow. Even as the Assad regime continues its all-out war against the Syrian population, numerous brave Syrians are still willing to pay the highest price when protesting peacefully for freedom and respect for their rights and dignity. Defected military speak of the blessing of dying through government forced lethal injection when chosen over bleeding to death after torture. We must tell, but more importantly show, the Syrian population we will not forget you. What does the responsibility to protect even mean at this point? Sadly, solutions in Syria are not easy. The new action group for Syria identified steps to ensure full implementation of Kofi Annan's six-point plan and the Security Council resolution must come forward as soon as possible. But let us not be distracted. And in that respect, I welcome the restraint in Turkey's response despite the clear provocation by Syria when shooting the fighter jet and killing Air Force pilots. My thoughts go out to the families of these two pilots that lost their lives. We welcome the participation of China and Russia in the action group, but regret the cynical choice of interests over the lives of people thus far. Yet we have to acknowledge that Russia must be a part of the solution to the crisis, however hard that may be. In the EU, and especially the Cypriot Presidency, we also bear huge responsibility and should lead an open and transparent investigation into how a Russian ship carrying weapons could reach Syrian shores after docking in a Cypriot port and being identified by the Cypriot authorities. This Parliament has urged Catherine Ashton to start a full investigation, but so far no real insurances have been given. When unenforced, EU sanctions are merely a paper reality and that does nothing to help the Syrian people.